Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, I thought I'd just uh, share this last call I was just on. I thought it was kind of interesting. So, get a call that uh, I get calls all the time where people are, you know, installing their own smart thermostat because, you know, they want to be able to look at their thermostat. Uh, on their smartphone. They wouldn't be able to control their thermostat from their smartphone, so, which is great. I, I, I do it. I have a Honeywell 9000 Wi-Fi thermostat that I use, and I love it. We put them in on all of our installs. Um, they're very easy for us to install them and because we do them all, we do it all the time, right? So, but when homeowners do it, it can be a little bit more challenging because they don't, they may not know all of the low voltage wiring wires that are actually needed for the job. So when they open up the book and they see things like, take the C wire and the, the R wire and the W wire and the Y wire and the G wire and label them all with these pre-made stickers and then stick them out, you know, uh, they, it can get confusing. A lot of people end up getting caught up in the, in the um, part where the common wire comes into place. So the, the R, the Y, the W and the G, they end up getting that fine. It's the C wire, that fifth wire that you're gonna need for these smart thermostats. So, and it doesn't matter what color or anything that that, that, that other wire is. You got, you know, usually R is gonna be your red wire, right? And Y is gonna be your yellow wire and so on. So people end up just kind of doing that. But uh, when they get to C, they're like, well, what color is that? Cream? <laughs> I don't have a cream wire. So they, what, what it is, the common wire, we use blue or black or brown or orange. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just as long as whatever color you wire you have hooked up at the thermostat for that position, the C position, that same color wire. You want to have hooked up at the control board on the furnace. Because now 24 volts will be able to circle between your, you know, from your furnace to your thermostat, furnace back to the furnace, and now be able to communicate. So we get called out all the time because people can't figure out how to put that. They, they can do the C wire at the thermostat, but they don't know where the other wire, other side of the wire is. That other side is at the furnace. Inside the furnace, you know, there's two control panels. There are two panels that you can open to get into that furnace. And inside that, inside one of those panels, you're gonna end up seeing like a blower motor, a big big motor, and probably a control board. Or maybe just a control board, like a rectangular control board where all the wires are going into. And there's there will be a little strip uh, with some Phillips head screw heads on there. And next to those screw heads, you might see little wires going into them. Probably the same red, yellow, uh, white, and green wires that you saw down at the thermostat. Now, your, whatever wire you chose for that C position, just, like say you picked the black wire, the extra black wire that's, that, that came with the, the, the thermostat wires. And just because only four, uh, you maybe only see four right now, but if you strip that wire back a little bit, you might see five, six, seven, eight wires. There's some that even have 12 wires in there. So um, it's, it's, it's pretty rare these days to see wire that only has like four wire anymore. There, if you do indeed only have four wires, <clears throat> then you know it probably need to either just run a new thermostat wire, or they do have a um, um, like a kit, like a like a common. There's some sort of kit in in the EcoBee or the Nest and, that you can purchase and then adapt to it so that you don't have to do a C wire anymore. But um, you know, you might as well just, I don't know, if you can, just run a new thermostat from up in the attic down the stairs. Just, you know, just pull it through, hopefully. Hopefully it's not stapled in the wall. But uh, to get back where I, to get back to completing the task, uh, so you, you know, I'm basically you're just making sure at the thermostat and the furnace that your R and R, red and red, you know, and your Ys, everything's hooked up from Y to Y on your thermostat, then G to G on your thermostat, G on the control board to G on your thermostat, then W to W, and then finally your C. Your C is your common terminal at the therm at the furnace. <clears throat> so whatever color wire you put on there, you'll want to make sure you put to the C position uh, on the um, thermostat. 
and it might say RC or RH. Just go ahead and put it in the RC position and um, there will be a jumper between the RC and RH. The majority of the time there is a jumper there between RC and RH. Uh, even if you don't see it, it's probably done underneath the, the little panel because they try to make them look nice. To, to go on further in this in this uh, conversation, so this is exactly the same thing that was happening here. This this guy, um, this guy was putting in Ecobee thermostats, and police reported ahead. <laughs> nice, ways hooking me up. So this guy was trying to do a um, an Ecobee thermostat. He was able to hook it up and do the C wire on uh, on his first zone. So he has two zones. He had an upstairs system, downstairs system, and he has two actual air conditioning systems for that. It's a pretty big house. Um, so he was able to figure out that for the system downstairs, because it was not zoned, this particular, uh, the, the upstairs zone had zoning hooked up to it. And uh, I forget which system it is, but it's, I don't know, kind of an outdated uh, system. Um, ugly thermostats, you know, and then this, this zoning also had like other sensor thermostats, like in each room, like one, three rooms upstairs. So each, each room upstairs had its own zone. It was super cool at one point, but <clears throat> this guy had to choose because between this, you know, this type of zoning or the Ecobee, you know, do you, do you want the zoning more or do you want the Ecobee, the cool feature on your smartphone to be able to use your you know, smartphone with your thermostat. And he's like, I clearly want to use just the, uh, I, I would like to bypass the zoning. I just want to be able to use the uh, smartphone app. I'm like, cool, so we'll do that. So we end up bypassing the zoning, making sure the dampers stay open. And we went from the thermostat directly to the into the furnace. So we basically just bypassed the zone board. <clears throat> it's like 11 year old system, so. And these guys just moved in this past year, so they don't, they never, they weren't super keen on the zoning anyways. They were saying that one zone wasn't, would never open or would never work or something. Um, so we, we wired up like we normally would have. We would have, you know, got red, white, yellow, uh, green, and then we went with black for common, just because it was there. So, um, and that's the same wire he used for the downstairs system. I just wanted it to be uniform. So. So we tried it, we plugged them in. The different, the thing also about this guy's thermostat wire was that it was, um, it was stranded. So it was like, you know, it's like 18 gauge, but it was stranded 18 gauge. And I'm not sure that uh, those wires were meant to be plugged into the little ports there on the Ecobee uh, base or the nest base. I was just talking to Keith about it and he was saying that, yeah, he had another one with stranded wires and you're sitting there trying to point, put this stranded wire into a little plug. You're like, you know, like, get it in there. <laughs> but, um, so I don't know if it was having an issue with that, but once we got the wires in, <clears throat> then the power wouldn't come on. Right. So I'm like, oh shoot, what just happened? So go down, I check the voltage at the R and black wire um, and I'm only getting 17 volts. I go up to the control board and I check R and C there and I've got 27 volts. So I'm like, okay, well, I mean, I, the voltage is there. It's just not getting down to the through the wires or something. So I just changed the wire. It doesn't matter what color wire that is. So you just, uh, so I switched it to blue. So I ended up using blue as my common wire at the furnace and at the thermostat and I finally got power. So I got 27 volts now, so good to go. And we think we're done. We put the base on, everything is run, or everything is going through the, uh, the customer's going through his, you know, the, the next steps, you know, like connecting his thermostat. And, uh, and it says that it's not recognizing the G wire. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. I know it's plugged in, but it's like that stranded wire. So getting it into the hole has been kind of, it's kind of difficult. Um, so I just tried a different wire. Uh, tried, tried the orange wire in place for the in place of the G, and it still wasn't recognizing the G uh, wire. So I'm like, huh, that's very interesting. 
Fortunately, there's a feature on the Ecobee as you're setting it up, as you're going through the setup, um, there's a feature on there that lets you manually adjust the connections uh, within the thermostat. So we basically just told it, we were able to just hit a button on there. So we were able to hit a button that says modify and then, um, and then we clicked that we want Exit to exit 49, point view drive. And we, uh, you know, and then we ended up clicking on the G and that ended up being a solution for us to not have a G wire. So <laughs> it's pretty interesting. It's a nice feature to have, but finally got it up and running, heating and cooling verified before I left. So got them up and running, but I thought it was an interesting call. We get a lot of these calls uh, in, all year round, basically, we're, because the smart thermostats are so popular um, that everybody wants them. So uh, we basically just charge people basically 100 bucks for the call to come out there and and uh, basically hook up the common wire at the furnace. A lot of times it ends up being just that, but um, you know we have a 75 dollars service call and then I end up charging like 25 bucks to go hook up the common wire or whatever. But um, it starts a great relationship. Uh, for the future with us if we can get in there and um, not gouge them to death with uh, repair costs for something like that when they're just trying to be hip and cool you know what I'm saying so so I'm down I'm I'm hip with the uh, with the smart thermostats and uh, I just kind of thought I would share that with you guys uh, always interesting out in the field all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it as always. I hope you uh, hope some of the um, DIYers at home find this useful. I also uh, hope that <clears throat> some of the uh, the newer technicians out there will be able to check this out as well. It's um, it's very common call uh, here in California right now with everybody getting the smart thermostats and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, once again, thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning here in Sacramento, California. Um, we would love to take care of you guys. Anytime your heating and air conditioning is down, please give us a call. And um, thanks so much for watching. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.